As you can tell, I love ambient lighting. So naturally, someone challenged me to make the most modern light possible for under 20 bucks. All right, let's get to building. Right now we're on our way to Home Depot. We gotta get some supplies. I don't know what I'm gonna get to make this most modern light possible, but we're gonna figure it out, homie. All right, we're at Home Depot. Let's see what we can find. Well, I got something in mind. We need some cement. Let's get this 50 pound bag. We could do something with it, it's like five bucks. All right, here's what I got. All under 20. We just left Home Depot. We're gonna head back to the house. I'm gonna show you what I got and then we're gonna start building. So we're back from Home Depot and we got three things for $20. Actually, to be honest, it was $19.94 plus a $1.74 sales tax. But that doesn't matter because we have three things right now. First off, we have our metal beam. Now, what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna use LEDs and I'm gonna put LEDs on the back strip of this. We're gonna Trust the process. Next, we got concrete. This is quick creep. 50 pounds, this thing was a bitch carrying upstairs, but we got a 50 pound bag of concrete. This was $5, this was $8, and then we have our mold. This is where we're gonna pour the mold. This was $5. This is also a paint can that, uh, well, this is, a, this is just a paint can, a plastic paint can. So we're gonna cut this open, and we're gonna pour our concrete in here and make a mold and uh, hopefully it all works out because we have to then figure out either if this is gonna be a mess or if this is gonna be a great thing. And secondly, I also do have LEDs. Now, I know this wasn't included in the cost, but these are the LEDs, these are Govies. I had these laying around. I haven't used them, I bought them a while ago. I thought I was gonna use them for something. So we have 16 feet of Govi lights that we are gonna incorporate in all this. Now you can get some LEDs off of Amazon for like $12 or for like a 16 roll, you can, I think they're even, you can even be cheaper than that. Most people have just LEDs laying around or you could just rip them off your bed, you could rip them off your uh, top ceiling. I mean, most people have, like if you're 15, you have these LEDs running around your ceiling. So we're gonna make a better light out of it and we're gonna make something that's modern that's for 20 bucks. And we also have black paint. I actually have this, most people have this laying around. So this is technically a free cost, but this is chalked uh, chalky smooth finish. So we should see how this goes. Uh, we have to start, let's just get to work. I know this is confusing so far, so I'm just gonna draw a slight diagram of what it's gonna look like. This is gonna be the base, and then there's gonna be a pole that sticks out of this, and it's gonna go in the corner of the wall. We're gonna have three but two buttons. We're gonna put two buttons here. Here's tall light with LEDs reflecting off the corner of the wall. Now you know what we're talking about. Now we know what we're building. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first we're gonna have to cut this open because we're gonna, this is gonna be our mold. Let's just score it. Now you don't have to be precise with this, but we're gonna be super precise with this. Let's just dig into this now, all right. Yeah, this knife works really well, by the way. Love these. Oh, fuck. Why is it cutting? Crack it! This is worse than a fucking drunk driver. Sorry, the thing that it slipped out of my hand. These suck. They don't work that well. But this is all of our, this is our only cutting device that we have, so. This piece of shit. Ah, almost there. Ah. We're through, boys. All right, that was harder than it needed to be. But now we have the base. This is where, it's all gonna lie, hopefully. Let's move on. So we have this Govi kit. This is the Govi kit. This is just a regular one. These are about $24 right here. So here we got the Govi light. These are 16 feet right here. It's got a little control module right here. So we're gonna actually take out and desolder some of these, and we're gonna try to at least, and we're gonna repurpose these buttons and put them at the top. So technically, it should look like this, and then there's gonna be buttons on the top, and then there's gonna be a pole. Hopefully, if my calculations are right, we will be able to put the buttons inside of the, on top, and it should be flush in the concrete, and then the wiring should go. Let me just show you. Right, so we're gonna take this apart, and um, we're gonna see what's inside of this. I, I have no idea what we're in for. I don't even know how the components work, but I have this little screwdriver, so hopefully we can open this up. And we'll this. Oh, that was easy. 
we'll just take out these screws and we'll be able to get closer into what we need to do. We have the controller out of its case. As you can see here, we got the buttons. Here. Oh, here we go. So I guess we got the buttons here. We, I think we're just gonna take off two of the buttons. So we really need only two buttons. We just need the power and the cycle color. We don't need this other one. I don't know which one it is, but one of these buttons actually just makes it flash a bunch of different, it just rotates through. So we're gonna actually break off two of these buttons and shave them down just a little bit and then we're gonna make a custom holder for it so it could just put in here. We're gonna 3D print this and so we could stick it in here and well, let's just let's just let's just get to it let's just press one of these buttons and see what it does this one should be power okay that one's power and this one should okay so this the second one actually cycles color okay so we're gonna need just the two top buttons so first we got to desolder these buttons and then we got to make a custom 3d mount for all these buttons right here that we could push into the top and so it could press by the buttons and then we gotta wire it and then we gotta do all that. Let's just turn this off and then let's get to soldering. So let's just clip some of these buttons off right here. This one is gonna be the main button we're gonna be using and then we're gonna also be using this second one here. So let's just use these two buttons. So we gotta trim off the sides here. So let's get this cleaned up. Let's start measuring it and then we'll start to go. So I finished off the buttons and they look pretty good. Now they're pretty circular and cylindrical. They look like uh, Mentos. All right, so now we're gonna just measure this. Now that we have our dimensions, let's go to AutoCAD and start 3D printing this up. First, let's paint our pole and then we're gonna go to AutoCAD so this has time to dry. All right, let's do it. So here we're in AutoCAD. I just created these little like circles that the buttons are gonna go into and fit all the electronics in. So I'm gonna print these out and we're gonna see how it goes. All right, we saved our file. We put it in the 3D printer. We changed our nozzle pressure. Now it should be starting any second now. So while that's printing on a 3D printer, we're gonna be desoldering all the buttons here on the control module. Uh, let's just see how this works. All right, so I didn't really desolder it. It's kind of hard to desolder it. So we're just gonna take it off. Oh no, oh no. Uh, we're just clipping them. My soldering iron doesn't get as hot as it needs to be. So we're just gonna have to clip it and then we're gonna have to resolder some new points onto it. Hopefully it'll work, but um, yeah. Let's wish me luck, wish me luck. All right, so as you can see here, we got the circuitry board. It's pretty busted. So we got the two buttons right here. The buttons still work, and so that's good. So now we're off, and our print is done. So let's just pop these off. Now we got the pieces printed. Now they just fit right in like that. They look pretty good. So all we have to do is we have to glue a couple pieces in here, and then we have to set this in here, and then it will be able to push, and then we can move on to the next step. So I hot wired the jumper cables up to the thing. Now we have it all cooked up. Hopefully it works. Let's just try. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. All right. Let's hope it. Hope it doesn't catch on fire here. Will it change if I press this button? Wait. Oh my God! It works. It works. We got both of them wired up. Let's just give it a try. All right. We got this. Now let's just see if this one works. Okay. This one works. Now let's just try this one. This is the the new one we got, so this should technically turn it off. And it works. All right, we ran into some trouble and one of the buttons doesn't work. So this button is completely, it just doesn't work. Unfortunately, reusing buttons doesn't always uh, pan out to be perfect. We have this other one that we have inserted in here. This one does work. So we still have this button. Now I made this mold here, so now all we have to do is fill it with cement, shake it off, and then place the button into a certain position where we want it. Let's start to getting the concrete mixed up. So we got our custom mixing trough right here. This is a dog bowl that we're gonna start putting in stuff here. Now I haven't worked with concrete before, so this is gonna be a new experience for me. Now I don't know how much water it's gonna take, but maybe that. Alright, let's let's go pour this in here. Oh shit. It's all over the counter. That was a bad idea. Oh man, we oh, oh man, we got it all over the counter. Some sloppy joes up in this. Oh shit, it's everywhere. Oh, look at this concrete. Alright, let's It's honestly looking pretty good. I think we need one more and then we should be good. Oh, this is too liquidy. 
As you can see, it is kind of, it is pretty wet right now. What we have to do now is we have to set the button where we want it. These wires actually will be going over here. You just gotta push it in here where we want it. Like over here, there we go. And then we gotta push this thing in and um, well, well, let's just, we can only hope for the best after that. As you can see, I have it out here. It's sitting on here, they got a button, the wires. We're gonna clean it up a little bit. Let's hope it works good after this. Day turned into night and now we are finally, look at this, look at how hard this turned out. This is going good, all right, we got the, you can hear the clicking bar. I gotta secure the button a little better. We got the cables running in the back that's so we can wire in our LEDs. So right now we're gonna attach the LEDs to the back, then we're gonna cut it, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see it and then we're also, after that, we are going to sand this down and make it a little smoother. Right now it's a little rough, but we're gonna sand it down, we're gonna secure the button a little better and we're gonna make the button all flush. From there, it should be good to go. I mean, I hope it's gonna look good. All right, so now we got this. We're gonna, we're gonna actually cut this off because we already have it wired in the back. This is gonna just kind of be an extension to all this. So we're gonna wire new stuff in right here. As you can tell, you got the black positive and ground wire, which is weird because the ground wire is actually white. Usually ground is black, positive is 12 volt, and then we got the DIN, which is, I guess, the signal wire. So. We are going to remove all that. Basically, we're just gonna be removing these three right here, and we're gonna be re replacing it with these three wires we got back here. Easy as that. So I got it all wired up, and uh, yeah, it's not pretty, it's not pretty, but it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. We got the top wired up. So we had to run it where it was going up, down, up, down. We couldn't just flip it. It just, it just would look ugly, but so does, uh, well, they'll get this. But this is gonna be on the backs of the wall anyway, so we're gonna cover this up with some electrical tape just so we hide the wires a little more and we don't have any shorts. But it should work, it should work. All right, next, we gotta take off this. You'll see it after it's all shaved down and cleaned up. All right, so after all the work, I think we're ready to give it a final try. All right, we have it all wired up. We have the whole thing set up with the wires running underneath now. It's all set to go. We have the button in place. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this, oh my God. But look at this thing. This is gonna be sitting in the corner. It's got its button now. We're not even gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna set it up right now. We're gonna put it up right now and see how it looks. So as you can tell, it's not turned on yet, but wait, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Let's, let's give it a shot. Oh. oh man, look at this. Look at how this looks. Look at how bright that is. For $20, this is what you can build. We have the bottom here. Now the concrete's a little rough. We could have done a lot better job with the concrete, but you know what, this is our first time doing it, so this is how it looks all together. So the Gobi app is pretty intuitive. Let's just, let's find out. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Oh, look at this. We can do this different scenes here. Now, if you have two of them, you could put them on each side of the bed, but we could just keep changing this to whatever we want. Dating, oh wow, we can we can get freaky with it. Oh, it matches this, holy sh Look how bright this is. Now you could just do designs, you could do everything with this. Oh, look at this. Snowflake, rainbow, here, look at this. Look at this! If you get two of them, you could light your whole room. All right, so we finally finished it. I mean, this thing looks pretty good. And just to turn it off, all you have to do is press that button. Look at that. Amazing. I'm a genius. I figured it out, $20, and you can have your own lineup set up in your room like this. So I moved it into my living room, and look how it looks. Look, this lights up. These lights used to be so bright. Now look at how bright this thing is. It's literally a nightlight. It light the whole room up like this is insane. For $20, you cannot beat that. One simple button on and off. I mean, because the other button just uh, broke on the process of making it, but it doesn't matter because it's actually better with one button. Now these ones are just behind everything, but this one is just, I mean, look at how the difference. This lights up the whole room. Go order some concrete, just get a pole and put some LEDs and it'll be simple as that. All right guys, thank you for watching. 
I appreciate it and uh, enjoy the life. <laughs>